Hello everybody, finally the video I promise you, I will um, prepare a picture to be suitable for laser engraving. Uh, first of all I want to say this is my method, maybe it's not suitable for some lasers or some materials, I mostly engrave on wood, so I prepared this picture for the wood, for sure it's not suitable for acrylics or other kind of materials. So this is what I do, I hope it's suitable or useful for somebody. First of all I get rid of all the color in the image, more adjustments, desaturate. After this I adjust the brightness and the contrast of the image to highlight the details and uh, mostly the whites. The whites are the one that came out good on good. You want to get rid of all the black in the image. So in this case there is a lot of contrast between black and white here so we reduce the contrast and we increase the brightness. Again it can change from picture to picture. Okay, I think this is enough. Okay, then mostly <coughs> what I play with is the, um, the black and the white and the brightness and the contrast. So, uh, once I'm in this point, the first thing I do is dodge shadows, 40 pencils should be okay, and what I do is um, get rid of all the black where I do not want it. For example, here in this piece here, if you engrave it like this, you won't see nothing. So, as you can see, we highlight what is behind it. Also here in this little piece, here, it's okay to leave some black, but not too much. Here is nothing behind it, but we just make it a little gray. Also in the eye there are some details, some gears. I'm a fan of uh, Alien and Terminator, so <laughs> this is my picture for laser engraving. Okay, I will continue getting rid of all the black okay uh, shadows here the uh, option shadows is only for the black so only the black it's like a brightness you take out more brightness I think for the wood the best the image is the more clear is the image the best more white there is the trick is to leave the best quantity of white and leave the image unaltered. It's difficult for me to explain because I, I take this method, I learn it alone. So, okay, like this. Now, as you can see already, you have some pieces of white here, here. This is already remain like this. The image is already coming out to be laser engraved. After mid-times, when you are satisfied and you see the image more or less is getting good, I go to uh, this is called sharpen, sharpen tool around 40 percent. Yes, 40 percent is good. Now this is very important, and laser engravers, especially on wood, love this command. This is the command that highlights uh, the lines, black and white lines, and the details. For instance, next take here. As you can see, this is the effect that lasers love. It's kind of converting to 8 bit, uh, or I see some people do this kind of job. I usually don't use it at all. So, again, I just pass it where I see details. You want to leave some other details with, in Altered without sharpen. It's kind of an art also, this one is not easy, a lot of ways to do this. This is just my method and I think I like it. Okay, the teeth, you can see how the details pop out. I'm making this video to show you so it's a little, I'm making it fast. Okay, usually it takes around one hour, depends on the image. Okay, let's say unsatisfied. Okay, 
After this, since the image has been sharpened, some tiny little, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I can see it from my monitor, a tiny little pixel has color. So you want to desaturate again the image. Every time you use sharpen, you desaturate again the image. Okay, and now we take out, we go to dodge and we use highlights. For highlights, we will practically take out the white, uh, not take out, uh, highlight the white and increase the white color. So highlights and the exposure is better to reduce it at around 5. I want to do it smooth and slowly. You can see, ah, here it is. For sure there are programs also do this kind of job, but like this you have the complete uh, power and the complete, uh, how can you say, um, power and uh, where you want to highlight and what you want to increase. Uh -huh. like this. Okay. Always use high resolution pictures. At least 3000 per 3000 pixel. Otherwise, you don't see any detail on wood or whatever medium you are lacing with. Well, for the first video, this is it. This is how I do it. Uh, I hope this is useful. Uh, it's better for me also if you put some comments, I will reply to them. And thanks everybody for watching.